G'day, Trog here, and this is Oxygen Not Included, Explained and Reviewed. The game was released in July 2019 by developer Klei, or Klee, I don't know how to say it, sounds German, but it could be. The price for the base game and the add-on is about 50 bucks Australian, works out to be about 30 bucks US, and I have no idea about Euro. If you're from Europe, I'm sure you can get a calculator out around and work it out for yourself. So the base game is pretty good on its own, but it's definitely worth getting the add-on. It definitely adds a lot more content. First of all, you pick an asteroid, and then you pick your colonist. Now colonists in this game are called dupes. The reason being is because you print them. They're not born, they get printed. It's weird, but it works. You'll spend hours picking your first three dupes, and that can be a brain masher within itself. But it's worth spending your time here, because picking the right dupes can really help your colony progress. You start off in the middle of your asteroid, and you start mining your ass off and building. And the more you build, the more materials you need, which means you need more power, you need more water and oxygen, and so on. And the way the game works is the more stuff you produce, the more waste you also produce. And since you're trapped in a little pocket inside your asteroid, you need to find a way to get rid of it or reuse it. And every time you solve one problem, it creates another problem. And you can do all this by doing research to unlock more buildings to help solve more problems, which creates more problems. And eventually in Space Out, you can build a rocket, you can go to space, you can gather more materials, you can also go colonize another planet, which begins the process all over again. But then your colonies will work hand in hand together. My favorite part of the game is as you dig and explore, you reveal geysers. Geysers are good because they're always different, and depending on which ones you unearth, it can dictate the way your base evolves, which in my opinion makes the game very replayable. I haven't found any bugs in the game, but dupes do do stupid things like entune themselves in a wall, like this idiot here. So Oxygen Not Included is a very unique, quirky, funny base building game, which is all about the science. So building crazy contraptions to mix gases and liquids to help progress your dupes will satisfy and tingle your brain nodes, also while destroying a few. So if you're into base building games, have a fetish for test tubes and are still fapping over your chemistry set that you had when you were a kid, then O&I is a must-have game in your Steam library. I give Oxygen Not Included a 9 out of 10 for being very challenging and highly replayable.